For Gen 5 lanes, go to a switch connecting USB 4 and an M.2 slot. If USB 4 is kept active in the BIOS, two lanes go to each. If USB 4 is deactivated, all four lanes go to the M.2. Four lanes go to the first M.2 at Gen 5. 16 lanes go to a switch connecting two by 16 slots. If only the first one is used, all lanes go to that slot. If the second one's used, the first drops down to eight lanes and eight lanes go to the second. Onto the chipset, the four lane uplink connects to the first chip. Four lanes at Gen 4 go to a third M.2. The first chip connects to the second and four lanes connect to another M.2. Four Gen 4 lanes go to a switch connecting a by four slot and an M.2. If only the by 4 is used, all lanes go to that slot. If the M.2 is used, the by 4 drops to two lanes, and two lanes go to the M.2. Four lanes at Gen 5 go to the main M.2. 16 lanes go to a PCIe switch. If only the first by 16 slot is used, all 16 lanes go to that slot. If either the second M.2 or by 16 slot are used, the switch is activated. Sending eight lanes to the first by 16 slot, four lanes to the second M.2, and four more to the by 16 slot below. All running at Gen 5. Onto the chipset. The first chip connects to the CPU with the four lane uplink. This chip connects to the third M.2 with four lanes at Gen 4. A four lane link connects to the second chip, connecting an M.2 with four Gen 4 lanes, and a by 16 slot with four lanes at Gen 4. Four Gen 5 lanes go to a switch that connects to the USB 4 controller and the second M.2 slot. In the default mode, two lanes go to the USB 4 controller and two lanes go to the M.2 slot, sharing the bandwidth of the four lanes. In the BIOS, you can choose to disable USB 4 and all four lanes will go to the second M.2. Four lanes at Gen 5 go to the first M.2 and 16 lanes go to the by 16 slot. Onto the chipset, connecting with the four lane uplink, four lanes at Gen 4 connect to another switch, connecting a third M.2 and a by 16. These slots share the bandwidth of the four lanes, with two going to the M.2 and two to the by 16. The M.2 can be disabled, sending all four lanes to the by 16 below. Another by 16 slot connects with one Gen 3 lane, and a fourth M.2 connects with four lanes at Gen 4. Four lanes at Gen 5 go to the main M.2. 16 lanes go to the by 16 slot at Gen 5. Onto the chipset, the single chip connects with the four lane uplink. One lane at Gen 3 goes to each of the by 16 slots. Four lanes go to the second M.2. Four lanes go to a switch connecting an M.2 and a by 16 slot. If only the by 16 slot is used, all lanes go to that slot. If the M.2 is used, the by 16 drops to two lanes and two lanes go to the M.2. For Gen 5 lanes, go to the main M.2. 16 lanes at Gen 5 go to a PCIe switch, connecting two by 16 slots and two M.2s. This switch has four modes. If only the first by 16 slot is used, all lanes go to that slot. If the second by 16 is used, eight lanes go to the first and eight lanes go to the second. If the third M.2 is used, the second by 16 slot drops to four lanes and four lanes go to the third M.2. If the second M.2 is used, the second by 16 slot drops to zero lanes and four lanes go to the second M.2. The CPU connects to the chipset connecting to a fourth M.2 with four lanes at Gen 4. Four lanes go to the second chip, connecting a fifth M.2 with four Gen 4 lanes. Four lanes go to the main M.2 slot at Gen 5. 16 lanes go to a PCIe switch, connecting a by 16 slot and two M.2 slots. If only the by 16 is used, all lanes go to that slot. If either of the M.2 slots are used, the by 16 drops to eight lanes and four lanes go to each M.2. Onto the chipset, the four lane uplink connects to the first chip, connecting to an M.2 slot with four lanes. The first chip connects to the second and four lanes run to another M.2. Four more lanes go to the by 16 slot below. 
4 lanes of Gen 5, go to the first M.2 slot. 16 lanes go to a PCIe switch that connect two by 16 slots and an M.2. If only the by 16 slot is used, all lanes go to that slot. If the second by 16 slot is used, eight lanes go to the first and eight lanes go to the second. If the second M.2 slot is used, the second by 16 slot drops to four lanes and four lanes go to the M.2. The CPU connects to the chipset with the four lane uplink, connecting to a third M.2 with four lanes at Gen 4. A second chip connects to the first with four lanes, connecting to a fourth M.2 slot with four lanes at Gen 4. A third by 16 slot connects with four Gen 4 lanes. Four lanes go to the main M.2 at Gen 5. 16 lanes go to a PCIe switch, connecting a by 16 slot and an M.2. If only the by 16 slot is used, all lanes go to that slot. If the M.2 is used, the by 16 drops to eight lanes and four lanes go to the M.2. Onto the chipset, connecting with the four lane uplink, the chipset connects to an M.2 slot. Four lanes go to another switch, connecting a by four slot and an M.2. If only the by four slot is used, it remains active. If the M.2 slot is used, the by four is disabled and four lanes go to the M.2. Four lanes go to the main M.2 at Gen 5. 16 lanes go to a PCIe switch, connecting a by 16 slot and an M.2. If only the by 16 slot is used, all lanes go to that slot. If the M.2 is used, the by 16 drops to eight lanes and four lanes go to the M.2. Onto the chipset, connecting with the four lane uplink, the chipset connects to an M.2 slot. Four lanes go to another switch, connecting a by four slot and an M.2. If only the by four slot is used, it remains active. If the M.2 slot is used, the by four is disabled and four lanes go to the M.2. Four lanes of Gen 5 go to the main M.2. 16 lanes go to a PCIe switch, connecting a by 16 slot and an M.2. If only the by 16 is used, all lanes go to that slot. If the M.2 is used, the by 16 drops to eight lanes and four lanes go to the M.2. Onto the chipset, a single chip connects with the four lane uplink. Four lanes go to a third M.2. Four lanes go to another switch, connecting an M.2 and a by 16 slot. If only the by 16 is used, all lanes go to that slot. If the M.2 is used, the by 16 is disabled and four lanes go to the M.2. Four lanes at Gen 5 go to the main M.2. 16 lanes go to the by 16 slot at Gen 5. Onto the chipset, the single chip connects with the four lane uplink. Four lanes go to a switch connecting a by 16 slot and an M.2. If the by 16 is used, one lane goes to that slot. If the M.2 is used, the by 16 is disabled and four lanes go to the M.2. Four lanes go to another switch connecting two more by 16 slots and an M.2. If the by 16 slots are used, one Gen 3 lane is available to each. If the M.2 is used, the by 16 slots are disabled and four lanes go to the M.2. Finally, two lanes at Gen 4 connect to the last M.2. Four lanes go to the first M.2 at Gen 5. 16 lanes go to a PCIe switch connecting to two by 16 slots. If only the first slot is used, all lanes go to that slot. If the second slot is used, eight lanes go to the first and eight lanes go to the second. The chipset connects to the CPU with the four lane uplink. A second M.2 connects with four Gen 4 lanes. A third M.2 connects with four lanes at Gen 4. The second chip connects to the first with a four lane link, connecting to another PCIe switch. This switch connects to an M.2 slot and a by 16 slot. If the by 16 is used, two lanes go to that slot. If the M.2 is used, the by 16 becomes unavailable and two lanes go to the M.2. Four lanes at Gen 5 go to the main M.2. 16 Gen 5 lanes go to a PCIe switch, connecting a by 16 slot and two M.2 slots. If only the by 16 is used, all lanes go to that slot. If one of the M.2 slots is used, the by 16 drops to eight lanes and four lanes go to each of the M.2 slots. The chipset connects to the CPU with the four lane uplink, connecting to another M.2 slot with four lanes at Gen 4. A second chip connects to the first with four lanes, 
connecting to a by 16 slot with four Gen 4 lanes. Another by 16 slot connects with four lanes at Gen 3. Four lanes at Gen 5 go to the main M.2. 16 Gen 5 lanes go to a PCIe switch, connecting a by 16 slot and two M.2 slots. If only the by 16 is used, all lanes go to that slot. If one of the M.2 slots is used, the by 16 drops to eight lanes and four lanes go to each of the M.2 slots. The chipset connects to the CPU with the four lane uplink, connecting to another M.2 slot with four lanes at Gen 4. A second chip connects to the first with four lanes, connecting to a by 16 slot with four Gen 4 lanes. Another by 16 slot connects with four lanes at Gen 3. Four lanes at Gen 5 go to the main M.2. 16 Gen 5 lanes go to a PCIe switch, connecting a by 16 slot and two M.2 slots. If only the by 16 is used, all lanes go to that slot. If one of the M.2 slots is used, the by 16 drops to eight lanes and four lanes go to each of the M.2 slots. The chipset connects to the CPU with the four lane uplink, connecting to another M.2 slot with four lanes at Gen 4. A second chip connects to the first with four lanes, connecting to a by 16 slot with four Gen 4 lanes. Another by 16 slot connects with four lanes at Gen 3. Four lanes at Gen 5 go to the main M.2. 16 lanes go to a PCIe switch, connecting a by 16 slot and two M.2 slots. If only the by 16 is used, all lanes go to that slot. If one of the M.2 slots is used, the by 16 drops to eight lanes and four lanes go to each M.2. Onto the chipset, the four lane uplink connects to the single chip. Four lanes go to another switch, connecting an M.2 slot and a by 16. If only the by 16 is used, all lanes go to that slot. If the M.2 is used, the by 16 is disabled and four lanes go to the M.2. Two lanes at Gen 3 go to the by 16 slot below. 16 lanes go to a by 16 slot at Gen 5. Four lanes go to the main M.2 slot. The chipset connects with the four lane uplink. Four lanes go to a PCIe switch connecting two M.2 slots. The slots are labeled B and C. If the B slot is used, all four lanes go to that slot. If the C slot is used, the B drops to two lanes and two lanes go to the C. Two by 16 slots are connected with one Gen 3 lane each. 16 lanes go to a by 16 slot at Gen 5. Four lanes go to the main M.2 slot. The chipset connects with the four lane uplink Four lanes go to a PCIe switch, connecting two M.2 slots. The slots are labeled B and C. If the B slot is used, all four lanes go to that slot. If the C slot is used, the B drops to two lanes and two lanes go to the C. Two by 16 slots are connected with one Gen 3 lane each. 16 lanes go to a by 16 slot at Gen 5. Four lanes go to the main M.2 slot. The chipset connects with the four lane uplink. Four lanes go to a PCIe switch, connecting two M.2 slots. The slots are labeled B and C. If the B slot is used, all four lanes go to that slot. If the C slot is used, the B drops to two lanes and two lanes go to the C. Two by 16 slots are connected with one Gen 3 lane each. Four lanes go to the first M.2 at Gen 5. 16 lanes go to a PCIe switch. If only the first slot is used, the switch runs at by 16 by zero mode, sending all lanes to the first slot. If the second slot is used, the switch changes to by eight by eight and eight lanes go to each slot. Moving on to the chipset. The first chip is connected by the Gen 4 CPU uplink. This chip connects four lanes at Gen 4 to another M.2 slot. The second chip is connected to the first with a four lane link and connects an additional eight lanes at Gen 4. Together they form the X870E chipset. Depending on the board, it can support 12 Gen 4 lanes and up to eight Gen 3 lanes. The second chip connects to the third and fourth M.2 slots, both with four lanes at Gen 4. Four lanes at Gen 5 connect to the main M.2. 
16 unswitchable lanes go to the buy 16 slot at Gen 5. Now the chipset. Starting with the first chip, we have four lanes of Gen 4 and two lanes of Gen 3, in addition to the USB and SATA controllers. One lane each goes to Wi-Fi 7 and 5 gig LAN at Gen 3. Four lanes go to a Gen 4 M.2. The second chip has eight lanes at Gen 4 and four lanes at Gen 3. It sends one Gen 3 lane to a SATA controller for two SATA connectors. Two more Gen 4 M.2 slots connect with four lanes each. A Gen 3 by one slot connects with one lane below. Two lanes at Gen 3 connect to a PCIe switch, connecting to a two lane Gen 3 by 16 slot and a two lane Gen 3 M.2 slot. The switch will send two lanes to the by 16 slot or two lanes to the M.2, depending on what's being used. Four lanes at Gen 5 go to the main M.2 slot. 16 unswitchable lanes go to the by 16 slot at Gen 5. The four lane CPU uplink connects the X870 chipset, supporting eight Gen 4 lanes and four lanes at Gen 3. From there, one lane goes to the Wi Fi 7 and one to the 2.5 gig LAN. One Gen 3 lane goes to each of the additional SATA controllers with two connections each. Four lanes at Gen 4 go to the second M.2. Four lanes go to a switch connecting a BI-16 slot and a third M.2 with four lanes each. If the BI-16 slot is used, it runs four lanes at Gen 4. And if the M.2 slot is used, the BI-16 slot is disabled, sending four lanes to the M.2. Four lanes at Gen 5 go to the main M.2. 16 Gen 5 lanes go to a by 16 slot. The four lane uplink connects to the chipset and four lanes at Gen 4 go to a second M.2. Four Gen 4 lanes go to a switch connecting a second by 16 slot and a third M.2. If the by 16 slot is used, four lanes at Gen 4 go to that slot. If the M.2 is used, the by 16 is disabled and four Gen 4 lanes go to the M.2. Four lanes at Gen 5 go to the main M.2. 16 Gen 5 lanes go to a by 16 slot. The four lane uplink connects to the chipset and four lanes at Gen 3 go to another M.2. Four Gen 4 lanes go to a switch connecting a second by 16 slot and a third M.2. If the by 16 slot is used, four lanes at Gen 4 go to that slot. If the M.2 is used, the by 16 is disabled and four Gen 4 lanes go to the M.2.